Hi guys, this is Manali over at Legacy Physical Therapy to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what the vagus nerve is and how it can actually really impact some stuff that's going on in the pelvic floor and what we can do to help it. A couple things that you might not know is that the vagus nerve is one of the longest running nerves um, in our bodies. It deals with the sympathetic nervous system and our parasympathetic nervous system. So our sympathetic nervous system is more of our kind of uh, fight and flight response to things. And our parasympathetic nervous system is our rest, digest, relaxation kind of part of it. Um, the parasympathetic part of the nervous of the nervous system is kind of where more of the vagus nerve and vagus tone is going to be what we'll be more talking about today. So um, the parasympathetic kind of component of our vagus nerve controls our heart rate and controls digestion and it controls our immune response to things. So all that activity of the vagus nerve um, is something that we call our vagal tone. So we want to have a really, really good, strong vagal tone so that when we are dealing with stress, and that stress can be pain, it can be um, discomfort, it can be true stress, or it can be um, any kind of overactivity going on in the mind and the body um, throughout the day. And so we want that reaction of your nerves to be as as less as possible. Um, so one of the places that most people hold a lot of their stress though is their pelvic floor. And so when that tone is really, really changing based on your reaction to things, a lot of times that stuff can be starting out from the pelvic floor itself. So there's a couple of kind of techniques that I wanna to talk to you about today that can improve and decrease some of the symptoms and effects of the vagal, um, the vagus nerve kind of overactivity. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is some deep breathing. And so deep breathing kind of, there's a lot of different ways to, to a lot of different ways that we can kind of go through it, but um, then we'll kind of go through the diaphragmatic deep breathing. And so that's using our big abdominal muscle right over here. And so you're going to be taking a big deep breath in through your nose and blowing out through your mouth. And we really want that exhale to be longer than our inhale because that's the exhale is where we're activating more of the vagus nerve. Um, and so ideally you want to do big, strong, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, total of about six breaths per minute. So not breathing super fast, not breathing super slow, but really taking that time to slowly exhale. And that can kind of also work on some relaxation um, techniques as well. The second part of it is trying out some loud kind of gurgling or humming noises, chewing gum. Um, the vagus nerve is actually connected through kind of to the vocal cords. And so you can stimulate some of that vagus nerve um, doing any of those items. Um, the third thing is some cold exposure. So I know in the winter, it's kind of tough. We kind of recommend starting at about the, so let's say you're taking your shower, the last about 30 seconds of your shower, turn the temperature down just a little bit, and then you can work your way up from there to be a little bit um, less activated by some of the cold. Um, the next one is laughing. So laughing stimulates that diaphragm, which stimulates that vagus nerve. So watch your favorite funny show, uh, watch, hang out with your friends, and just know that all that's contributing to improved uh, improvement for your vagus nerve. The next one is um, trying out some uh, meditation. So meditation stimulates the vagus nerve. It kind of, re by reducing some of that overactivity of our sympathetic nervous system. So calm your mind, um, think about that deep breathing, try some relaxation techniques, all just to kind of relax and meditate and improve your vagal tone. So there are three different um, vagus nerve massages that you can try that really kind of directly can impact the the vagus nerve so the first one we'll talk about is your carotid sinus so this is going to be more on the right side of your throat kind of just below your ear and so gently kind of applying pressure down through this area right ooh, with my hair right here so holding for about 30 to 60 seconds you do not want to be pressing super hard in this area i'm um, very gentle just for about like i said about 30 to 60 seconds there 
and then you can close your eyes, work on some deep breathing, um, things like that. The next spot that we can kind of really go for that vagus nerve is the inside of our pinkies actually. So starting off holding for about 30 to 60 seconds, just applying some pressure first, holding that guy again, trying some deep breathing, um, thinking about some deep breathing, uh, closing your eyes, and making sure you're not doing this in an area that's very active, um, you might notice that after about 30 seconds, so you're starting to yawn or things like that, which means that that's really working. You're kind of starting to relax more, but you're gonna hold for about 30 to 60 seconds, just holding, and then you can kind of move that finger around in some small circles. Again, about 30 to 60 seconds of that, followed by just some light brushing around that area, right there, just along that pinky, 30 to 60 seconds. The third spot is actually behind our ear. So you wanna go basically right behind the earlobe. So let me turn this way, right here. And so you wanna be holding down, again, small circles, 30 to 60 seconds of that, focusing on some deep breathing and getting nice and relaxed. So try all those guys out and tell me if, how you feel after, did you feel more relaxed? Um, but let me know in the comments. All right, bye.